This is a quick demonstration of EMC Virtual Storage Integrator or VSI 5.1 and its new performance reporting capabilities. If you take a look at the VSI plugin, it's a simple and free plugin that extends the vCenter interface. Clicking on an individual virtual machine, you can see the relationship between all of the virtual disks, the underlying data stores, the EMC arrays. You can even do advanced things like uh, leveraging array capabilities, seeing details around provisioning, uh, all those sorts of details. What we've added in 5.1 is rich performance reporting. Now this isn't intended to be a replacement for all the performance tools that exist within the arrays and within uh, vSphere, but rather to be a simple and integrated single view where you can see all of these things all together. So for example here, clicking on this individual uh, virtual machine um, and clicking on that individual vDisk, you can see that that vDisk is sitting on uh, underlying data store, in this case on a vMax E, and if you click on the performance button, it'll generate uh, a real-time view of the performance at multiple layers uh, from the vDisk on downward. Uh, generally, it's very difficult to get all this information in one place, and this makes it extremely simple and extremely easy. So, uh, you can see here that you can see details of the vDisk, you can see read and write latency, you can see the actual back-end uh, LUN uh, details, and you can see, uh, if you go to the data store tabs, all sorts of data store level details. The time interval is a 20 minute interval, and you can see the data starting to populate here. So you can see the total average number of IOPS that are being generated for this one particular uh, device, as well as the uh, latency that's being experienced here. So you can see that uh, right now this particular uh, VDisk is doing uh, you know, roughly uh, 3,000 IOPS, and it's uh, experiencing a latency that is uh, um, you know, in the 10 to 15 millisecond range. This can be a simple and easy technique that an administrator can use to see uh, where load is coming from as well as uh, quickly trying to diagnose uh, if there's a bottleneck where it might be and then use more detailed tools to uh, dig into it at that uh, individual point. Um, as well as pulling together information that normally would be visible in all sorts of different places so ESX top data, vSCSI stats data, uh, and array details themselves. Uh, if you mouse over any particular spot, you can see details uh, for its X and Y values, and you can see the data continuing to get populated. This data, by the way, can be easily exported by right-clicking on the chart uh, or clicking on the little export button uh, that you can see up there on the top. Here you can see, for example, that we're uh, pointing at the individual write latency. You can see it's extremely low um, and uh, um, all sorts of other details. Likewise, if you click on an individual ESX host, which we've done here, and you look at uh, the data stores, you can see here all of the data stores. You can see all the various uh, warnings and details, all the stuff that you'd see. Um, here you can see we've got all sorts of different array uh, uh, types uh, that are used. This is supported across a broad range of EMC storage platforms. Uh, and VSI uh, can do all sorts of stuff, as I mentioned earlier, not only have uh, increased uh, reporting and visibility, but also provisioning. So here we're going to click on an individual data store and uh, again if we click on the performance button you can see uh, all sorts of details uh, around, um, around the individual data store. Similarly looking at various latency statistics, IOPS statistics uh, across the uh, data store itself. Um, and as it loads up the data again you can see that this is very simple and a nice integrated view uh, across a broad variety of data sources. So uh, here you can see again the scale uh, on either side starts off the same, uh, 20 minutes, and uh, it's pretty cool the the scale, the graph will auto scale as uh, the data comes in. So uh, pretty simple, pretty easy to use. Data starts to populate. You can see that the latency scale uh, auto scale a little bit and uh, you can see the data starting to come in around uh, data store IOs, LUN IOs, uh, the latencies at the LUN and the data store level um, here again in one simple and easy view. Now one other thing that we heard uh, very frequently is that people wanted to find an easy way that they could set alerts. Um, so what we've added here in this performance reporting capability in VSI version 5.1 
is a simple and easy way where uh, you can enable alerts on any one of the devices that you can report and view uh, any performance metric on. So as we uh, uh, bring up uh, the storage details uh, for this individual data store uh, on this particular uh, VMAX E array, um, you can see that it brings up this uh, performance metric that you've seen before. But you'll notice that you can enable VM latency uh, alarms um, uh, with a simple click. And when you do that, and you go and you take a look at the individual virtual machines, this will uh, automatically generate some uh, vCenter alerts. So if we go and we take a look at the alarms um, and take a look at all the alarms that are defined, you can see that it uh, has created here a latency alarm. Um, and this latency alarm can be set for a wide variety of uh, uh, devices that you can see within uh, uh, vCenter. And uh, automatically this will set up some uh, uh, out-of-the-box uh, triggers and alerts that will give you some uh, warning and, and uh, 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 alerts of uh, any time that latency uh, exceeds a given set of values. You can customize this however you see fit, but again, it makes it very simple and easy for you to set up uh, performance alerting. So there you have it, EMC VSI uh, version 5.1, available uh, now early on in uh, 2012, um, and uh, free as always, so download and enjoy.